I think the uh, first CMBS securitization in Europe took place just earlier this year. Do you think they'll have paved the way for CMBS to take on a larger role in European debt markets or will always remain more on the sidelines? What we've seen in CMBS has mostly been German multifamily, so large, large deals. Uh, an agency deal that's just come out recently, uh, some of Southern Europe primarily, and, and trophy assets, which is a little bit, which is a lot different than the U.S., where, where CMBS is um, basically warehousing loans and then creating this big, huge bucket and then selling off bonds from that. This is, these are deals that are typically one-offs. And you, don't, you haven't seen the investment banks, which are typically the ones that are doing it, uh, creating these um, large bonds by warehousing the risk. So I think it's a lot different CMBS than it was before. Um, but obviously, it's going to have to continue. We, we'll, we'll expect it to continue and to, to grow a little bit more. What you, what you don't have is, what, which is what you had in 2007, 2008, was a lot of the CIVs, which are the structured investment vehicles that were kind of offshoots of, of banks basically buying the bonds. So now you need real investors. So investors can now either invest directly through loans, through these debt funds, or they can invest with a little bit more liquidity for, through CMBS. And I think, I think CMBS, there's a role for it. We need it. Um, it's, it's another funding source. It provides a lot more diversity, as Anthony was, was, was indicating, that is healthy for the market. Uh, but I think there's certain, certain types of transactions where it fits and certain transactions where investors will want to buy that.